I'm Blake Bettner, Managing Editor at Worn & Wound, and this is the 2020 Virtual Wind-Up Watch Fair. Whether you're new to the world of watches or you've been collecting for years, you're undoubtedly very familiar with Oris. Over 100 years old and still independent, Oris has released a slew of popular models in recent years, from the Diver 65 to the Big Crown Pointer Date Collection. I recently had the pleasure of sitting down with Rolf Studer, co-CEO of Oris Watches, to discuss their new Caliber 400 movement. We dig into its development, unique feature set, and why they chose the Aquis as the first watch to feature the new movement. And now, here's our interview with Rolf. Rolf, welcome to our virtual wind-up watch fair. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, so maybe tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, about Oris as a brand. Well, I have two kids. I live near Lucerne. I love skiing, running, sailing. I'm a curious person in general. <laughs> and yeah, Oris, I've been working for Oris since 2006 and I didn't have a boring day since I joined. Oris only makes mechanical watches. We are one of the few still independent brands and independency really means a lot to us. It's not just being independent from a group or financially independent, it also means a state of mind, you know, to be able to innovate, to do what you like, just to go your own way, as we also have it in our slogan. Yeah, absolutely. And on that note, uh, you've recently introduced uh, the Oris Caliber 400. This is an anti-magnetic automatic movement with a five-day power reserve and a 10-year warranty. Uh, this is a pretty significant achievement for the brand. Can you tell us a, a little bit more about the movement and what went into its development? When we um, did the spec sheet for that movement. We didn't want to do just another mechanical movement. We wanted to go beyond that. We want to set a new standard. And we wanted to make a movement that really is of added value to our customers, that has um, capabilities that really help them, that give them what they expect from a mechanical watch. And um, in today's life, um, you need high anti-magnetic qualities in your watch. Um, many of our customers, they have several watches, so they want to change. They want to wear one watch this day, the other watch uh, the other day. So we wanted to give it extended power reserve and uh, we gave it five days coming out of uh, two barrels. And uh, our customers, they are watch enthusiasts. These people, they look for uh, quality and they look for value. And we managed to get that new movement to a level that we can give 10 years warranty with confidence. And we are very proud of that. So all things that aren't just there to uh, break another record, but that are there to really be of use to the person who buys that watch. We also wanted to make the watch at the price point that's accessible. So it's $3,500 in um, that Aquis model that it is now um, presented. So we think it's a very nice, well-rounded package for today's watch enthusiasts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Oris has produced other in-house movements uh, in recent years. Um, and all of them have featured long power reserves. Uh, but this is your first modern uh, automatic, and it features the high anti-magnetism. Uh, maybe tell us uh, a bit about the decision to make this so anti-magnetic and, and kind of what values you think that brings to your consumers. Yeah, um, as we discussed before, um, magnetic fields are a big topic today with all these electronic devices, with uh, induction cooking. Um, all these um, electronic things around us. And we just wanted uh, to go to a new standard there. And that's what we did. We use a um, conventional hairspring, but we use over 30 anti-magnetic parts in that movement. Um, we tested it at the Labois du Bois in Switzerland, which is one of uh, the most respected testing facilities in Switzerland. We went as high as the machines let us go. And yeah, we are proud to say that we uh, achieved 90% um, better results than your um, standard 
uh, Swiss mechanical movements does. So we are very happy with what we have. You guys felt confident enough to offer a 10 year warranty. Um, why was it important to include a warranty of that length with this movement? We believe that this is also something um, a person who buys a mechanical watch these days is looking for. It's something I am looking for. Um, personally, I must admit, I'm not someone who hands in his watch uh, to uh, the service in the intervals that are um, recommended. And I think many people out there, uh, they are about the same. And we really wanted not only to give a 10 year warranty, but a 10 year service interval. And we achieved this with um, working with very low torque. Uh, the movement has about, works with about half the torque a um, standard movement does. We worked on um, the gears, we uh, worked on the parts, we worked on the lubrification, we worked on the size of the rubies that are in the movement um, to really make sure that you don't have to open uh, the watch for a service um, under 10 years unless uh, it did have a shock or for the occasional uh, waterproof um, test for the gaskets. But from a mechanical point, you will not have to open the watch um, in uh, the first 10 years. And I just want to ask from a, from a visual standpoint, uh, I see the Aquas has an exhibition case back and the finishing on the movement is, is somewhat industrial, but it's very kind of clean and attractive. What kind of considerations went into uh, designing this from an aesthetic standpoint? Yeah, uh, we had long discussions about that and uh, we had a lot of design proposal about how to uh, decorate that movement, but we are our philosophy is to make things that make sense. Uh, we are a company that does depth gauges, that does altimeters, all mechanical, uh, that does a non-linear power reserve with a 10-day hand winder. Uh, we don't do um, tourbillons, for example, which is a great complication, which was invented for a wristwatch that sits in the same position all day in your pocket and which was made um, to level out uh, the force of gravity. On the wrist, you don't need that. It looks fantastic, of course, but you basically don't need it. So that's something we would never do. Um, that also went into um, the design and decoration of the case back. So it's very industrial. It's very sober. Still, it looks good. You also realize that we um, gave up the red rotor for uh, these new movement series to really make a distinction, to make it even look more sober. And I think, yeah, it looks really nice uh, when you look at the watch from the back to the movement. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Um, my next question was going to be, when can we expect a Tourbillon version? But, uh, but I guess I'll, I'll table that one. Uh, so I understand that there is a virtual reality experience around this movement that lets customers kind of uh, get inside the movement in a way, or at least kind of be a part of it. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell us a little bit about that and how people can, can, can experience that for themselves if they wish. Yeah, we have developed a um, voyage through that movement so you can really go inside that movement and see all these parts not just as a mock-up but really derived from the plants of that movement you can you can move around and, and 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 feel the mechanics many of our retailers they have platforms where you can experience that so yeah please check your nearest or its retailer and uh, maybe he has our virtual reality stand there so you can experience a trip through the Oris movement. Yeah, I know we all enjoyed it here at the, at the Warner Wound offices. Um, so I, I want to ask about the watch that this is going into. Uh, the first watch that's going to feature this movement is an Aquas Date. Um, why did you choose to put this movement in an Aquas? Calibre 400 is our own movement. It's an in-house movement, but we wanted it to be a movement in a watch that's accessible not only for the privileged few,
but for watch enthusiasts in general. Aquis is our uh, most popular line. The 43.5 millimeter is the most popular model out of Aquis. So we really put it in our most popular model to um, underline that thought of making a watch that uh, should be there for as many people as possible for the watch enthusiast who enjoys yeah, an Oris own automatic movement with all these features that we just mentioned before. Sure. Uh, and can we expect to see this uh, Caliber 400 appearing in any other models? Yes, you can. This is not only meant uh, to stay with Aquis, it will, we will roll it out in, in different uh, models uh, over time. Uh, going forward, there will be three pillars of movements that we use. There will be, we don't want to lose that entry level price point that we have. We think it's important um, to offer a, a well made mechanical watch for people who want to spend around $2,000 also. We think um, being relevant is one of the most important things as a watch brand these days. And we see a tendency of prices going up and up and brands outprice themselves from their customers. And we don't want to do that. That's why we will keep this, um, this pillar with uh, sourced uh, Swiss movements, but then we will have caliber 400s and um, what will grow into a family. And then on the top end, we have caliber 110 plus hand winding, um, 10 days uh, power reserve uh, to round the whole offering up. And uh, is the caliber 400 built in such a way that it will be, accept uh, integrated or modular complications at some point in the future? Absolutely. It won't <laughs> house a uh, tourbillon, but, no tourbillon there, no. or, <laughs> but we have quite a few complications um, in the works already, but now we will start with a three hand date version in the Aquis and then let's see uh, what's to come over the next few years. Fantastic. Uh, well, Rolf, it's been a huge pleasure chatting with you. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to be here and part of this. My pleasure. Thank you very much.